Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Bryce and uh, I'm going to be doing a little quick review on an Audi A7. This is a 2012 and it does have the sports package. Um, just bought this car back in July so it's been a few months and I was going to do a little review. Um, I did a lot of these videos and uh, looked at them when I was looking uh, at purchasing this vehicle and uh, I thought this might help. So we'll hop on in. One of the cool things with Audi regarding the windows, whenever you do open the window, it pops down like that. It's on every door the interior so <clears throat> with the sports package the comes with the black headliner right there start it up really quick there it is right there see the screen hides itself in the dash a couple of different options again this is the sports package so it's got vent seats ventilated seats heated seats got the option for the spoiler right here put that on there it is right there the spoiler will come on automatically if you go over 85 miles an hour other than that you can activate it with this button here's just a little bit more of the interior I know that's pretty important so this one has the all black interior with black seats black headliner um, sometimes you'll see them with a wood grain right here I've got the silver I kind of like that it matches the outside the exterior being that it is the sports package, it does come with um, the gunmetal gray sports rims. Um, it's got the silver paint. Uh, I've got the spoiler up in the back again. That goes up at 85 miles an hour. Uh, you can activate it manually if you'd like. I think it looks pretty cool, but some people disagree. <laughs> the back end of these cars is, uh, I like it. Some people, some people don't. Um, I don't know, I've been told that it looks like a dog dragging its butt. I've also been told that it's more aggressive for a hatchback. I think it's aggressive. Um, looks pretty cool. I like it. This one has the LED lights in the front and the back. Um, let's see over here. See the headlights right there. The LED package. Got a couple of sensors up front. We'll take a look under the hood really quick. See right here, it's a V6. Um, it is supercharged, as you probably saw in the emblem right there. Um, I've had no problems with this engine. It's very quick. The power's there. There's no delay since there's no turbocharger. So whenever you need that power, it's right there. So one of the main reasons why a lot of people get these vehicles is because they are a hatchback and there's a ton of space in the back. So underneath here, there's a little button, and I can show that to you. Just right here, you press that. You see the camera right next to it, and it's automatic. We'll lift up and there's plenty of space back there. So actually you could take this cover out, push the seats down and you could fit a ton of stuff back there. Um, so yeah, there's no issues with that. So right here we have a little bit of information about the actual vehicle. See, it's a 2012 um, with the Tiptronic. So for base price, you're looking at about 59. That was standard back in 2012. So it's 2017 now. It's got the sports package, the Tiptronic transmission. That's adding most of that value right there. LED headlights. Um, shipping charge so back in 2012 brand new from the dealership it was about 70 and that's not anywhere near what I paid for it which is nice because now you know being 2017 we could start to see a lot of these vehicles not cost an outrageous amount of money and become much more affordable in terms of uh, gas mileage um, 18 in the city 28 on the highway I think it's actually a little bit better than that um, Audi's are all-wheel drive so it's gonna steal a little bit from that but I really don't think it's too bad so, um, really quick, I'll move on to the oil change cost since I just had that done a few days ago, and we'll see how much that is. For those of you who are interested in the actual glove box and what that might look like, right here it's pretty standard, ballet option, a CD changer. I just went to get the oil change done yesterday, just to kind of see how much it would cost from the actual dealership, and really quickly for, it's the 65,000 mile service, this is about 63,000 miles on it, so it's a little early. Um, but it was about a hundred bucks. Pull it down right here. See there, 108 total. Um, that's with full synthetic 540 oil, new filter. They wash the vehicle, all of that stuff. So in my mind, a hundred bucks isn't bad for an entire oil change with full synthetic oil. Um, I know that this takes a lot being a European vehicle. So um, that's, you know, your standard oil change cost. So right here is the center console. Um, obviously you have a lot of different options here. Um, the buttons right here, you know, top left, top right, bottom right, those correlate to the actual screen settings right here. 
Um, I do like the navigation, so if you click on that in the center console right here, it shows you exactly where you're at. If I click telephone, it gives me the option to pair my device, radio where it's at right now, um, and then media where you can actually connect Bluetooth and make phone calls, stuff like that. There's also the option down here for car. So if I click car, we'll see that it pulls up the different options for your drive comfort levels, essentially. Um, you can basically control your car systems, check your oil, see what's going on with... You can edit everything, the lights, the sensors, the volume, everything, servicing and checks. So it's very nice because you can basically customize this car however you'd like. Um, and I think that's, you know, a huge bonus to Audi. A lot of vehicles don't offer that, so... So in the rear of the vehicle, in terms of headroom, there's not a ton. Um, I'm about 6'3", and so my head bumps back there quite a bit. Um, but for anyone else, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, there's actually quite a bit of space back there. <clears throat> and then we also have individual climate controls for the back. So um, they do have their own heat, their own air conditioning, uh, vents, and stuff like that. So it's pretty comfortable. And anyone who's curious about 